Hey guys, this is Gospel Sleep Channel, and today guys, I'm going to be showing you how to get Launchpad for Windows 7. Um, Launchpad is basically almost like a iPad emulator for your computer. It's um, quite a complicated. Um, it's quite a complicated way. Of, it's quite complicated to set it up. Well, installing is easy, but setting up is very complicated. I'm going to show you how to install it and how to do some basic setup, but um. Obviously, it's something you're gonna have to work on. Okay, so just let you know, all links will be in the description. So what you need to do is you need to go to this website right here, what's on divineart.com, and when you see it, you'll see this sort of screen right here, what's a sort of preview screen almost. And what you need to do is if you scroll down, and in the bottom it'll say download file, raw download. You then click download. It'll then automatically start downloading it, um, depending on what web browser you're using. So then navigate to wherever you saved it. So I'm going to navigate to my download folder. And it will be in a .rar file. So now you'll need to either use 7zip or WinRAR to extract it. I'm going to create a new folder quickly. And to call it um, launcher pad. Because I spelled it wrong on well. I'm going to drop and drag that .rar file into there. Now what I'm going to do is, uh, you don't have to do that part with creating a new folder, it's just up to you. When you extract it here, and then it'll give you all the files. And once you've extracted it, there's a file called iPadLauncher.exe. You double click on that, and it will run the iPad Launcher. Okay, so now, as you can see, there is now a sort of, instead of having your desktop background, it's sort of this. And basically, what you do, is you can click on a icon. And then it says FA. And um, what you could do is you can the top one is the icon, an icon you want, and the bottom one is basically the um, it's basically the file or the app. And what you could do is if you click on this little dot 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 icon, you can then go to wherever you want. So I'm gonna go to my desktop, and I'm gonna look for Paint.net. If I click open, and then if I click save, now Paint.net is now assigned to that first icon. So now what I could do, I don't know why that popped up, I can left click on it, right click, sorry, left click, and then open up paint. I can just open it back up. If you right click, it still opens up paint, like so. Um, and if you hover over it, then you'll get this little FA um, pop up. So the bottom one is for choosing the uh, program. The top one is for the icon. Um, for the icon, you can use a PNG file, an ICO or a .exe um, icon. Or well, .exe is the program itself. Um, but you'll have to find the icons yourself by looking on the internet. It's going to quickly clear that because if you put a invalid icon, it gives you a preview there, and if I save it, it'll just make a little X. So it um, sort of ruins the program. Um, so what you could do is you could fill out all these gaps t to what you like with programs. So it's a cool little way of finding like a little iPad sort of theme on your computer. Um, obviously to exit, there's a little exit button at the top, or you can press Escape. Uh, no, Control Delete. Or if you open up a program, and it will minimise this. Here you can see the Home or the Home button. If you click on this, if this little pop-up comes up. And you can write down a password. Um, so I'm going to put one, two, three, four for basic, and I click OK. Now it's locked. Um, and obviously, wherever you click, it will ask for your password. So you've technically locked your computer. Obviously, though, you can do Control Delete to bypass this if you do forget your password, like so. And then you can go to Task Manager. And obviously, stop the application. So, I'm going to type in my password, hit enter, and I've unlocked it. So, pretty much there you go. I'm just going to quickly open up that so I can get off the program. And it's down here, then to close it, you can just go close Windows or do your task manager. Okay, guys, that's how to install um, Launch. Did I do it? 
launch pad, sorry if I say it wrong then, launch pad for Windows 7. Um, I'm not sure if this works for any other Windows software, I know it works for Windows 7, I'm not sure about any other older or newer. So if you do try it out and it does work, then please leave a comment in the description below for any viewers who are trying to install it as well. Um, it's a very basic application and obviously it will take a bit of time to set up, but once you set it up though it will be a very fun app to use. Um, I know quite a few of my friends who like using it because they um, find this quite easy and it's, you can sort of have like your desktop almost on it all arranged into icons while it's really nice because you can do custom icons for each thing to make it look more stylish um, and you can have like um, Internet Explorer or Google Chrome with like a Safari icon like it would be on a normal iPad or iPod Apple product so okay guys thanks for watching this Cosplay channel and see ya